Welcome, this is Scott, also known as Swift Seller. I have been tagged in the 19 questions about myself uh, that's been going around YouTube. I was tagged by Cliff, the Boondock Buy Sell on YouTube. Check his channel out. I'll link it right here. And you can click on it and check him out. Subscribe to him. I've been following him for a little while. So the first question is, what does your channel name mean? Well, Swift Seller. Self-explanatory. Uh, just something catchy that I made up. And um, I just want to be swift at selling my items. <laughs> Simple as that. So, second, second question. Where were you born? I was born in Alexandra Bay, New York. It's upstate New York, up by the Thousand Islands. And my uh, dad still lives up that way. So I get to go back every year and see him. Uh, next question is, where are you now? I am now in Napoleon, Ohio. I moved here when I was two, and the only time I left, moved away, was when I was in the military, and now I'm back. I'm back in Napoleon, Ohio. Fourth question, what would your parents have named you if you were the opposite sex? I have no idea. I was going to call my mom and ask her, but I forgot. So, but I know my, my dad watches this, so if you see this, dad, let me know what you would have called me if I was the opposite sex. <laughs> now, the sec, uh, oh, what color, what, what is your eye color? Number five, my eye color is brown. So brown something color. And what is your favorite candle scent? Well, my favorite candle scent would probably be whatever my wife has. But I really like the cinnamon or vanilla or that's about it. Cinnamon and vanilla, those are probably my favorites. Can you cook? Number seven. Yes, I can cook. I was a line cook when I was in high school, and I like to grill out on the grill, hamburgers, steaks, chicken, uh, brats, I own a meat market, so I like to grill. Um, I do cook, I made bacon this morning, so I can cook that, and if you don't know, bake, bake your bacon in the oven, it turns out a lot better, but don't overdo it. Then it'll get brown, burn up, and be crispy. Too crispy. Burned crispy. Yuck. I almost did that today. My wife was like, hey, I think you need to check your bacon. I think it's burning. And it was about burning. I saved it, though. I only had to waste a little bit. Thank you. Thank God. Anyway, yes, I can cook. One time, my wife and I did, um... Uh, bake off, a uh, cook off. We each bought uh, the other person's ingredients of things that you don't normally cook with, and we had to prepare a meal meal with what the other person uh, brought, and that was interesting. And we pulled it off, and it was a really good meal. So yes, I can cook on the stove in the oven. I can follow directions and make stuff, yes. And I enjoy doing it too. So, number eight, what is your sign? Well, I don't follow the signs that much, so I had to look up what I was. I'm a Libra. Uh, my birthday is October 18th. Uh, it's known for your social and analytical and loyal nature. Hmm. Interesting, but I don't follow the signs, so it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> what scares you about getting old? Number nine. What scares me about getting old? Well, probably 
not being able to support my family anymore. That was that's my biggest thing. I am the supporter of this family. My wife's a stay at home mom, so if I didn't work then we wouldn't have the income we have. And so that scares me. About getting old and not being able to work anymore. That's what scares me. Number 10. What is the last thing you bought? The last thing I bought was McDonald's yesterday. Yep. Alright. Uh, number 11. What is your favorite holiday? Uh, that would be Christmas. Seeing the kids open their presents is the joy of Christmas. And uh, for us, that's the highlight, I guess. Um, of course, Jesus' birth is the main highlight. And But we like to decorate and set up the tree together and put all the ornaments on together. So that's a family tradition we like to do. So. I think there's more traditions in Christmas than there is any other holiday, so Christmas is my favorite holiday. I also like decorating outside too, but we haven't done that in many years because I'm just too busy and it's cold and I don't want to do it. But it's still fun. Alright, what is your guilty pleasure? Um, guilty pleasure would probably be ice cream too. Just like clips. I like ice cream. Um, any dessert, really, but probably ice cream. I always got to get ice cream when we're at a, a buffet or something. or Got to get the desserts. I used to like chocolate a lot, too, when I was littler. But now when I eat chocolate, it's like overkill. And I can't eat that much chocolate, which kind of upsets me because I like chocolate but like real fudgy things I just can't eat a lot of anymore but chocolate ice cream definitely ice cream I love ice cream all right um number 13 what show do you binge watch well those would be again all the shows my wife gets me hooked on on Netflix and Hulu but I like watching, <coughs> um, what is it called? Can't think of it. This Is Us, I like to watch. Um, Heartland, I like to watch. Um, we were watching Superstore, which we haven't watched in a long time. Um, there's a Chicago Med, Chicago Fire, and Chicago PD. Those three are kind of all linked together. So my wife watches those, and I, I like watching those. I like watching the the action cop shows, pretty much all, any of those. I like watching um, yeah, there's a lot more that we watch too, I, oh, um, the doctor show, what's up, the good doctor, we watch, we watch that religiously, I think we're all caught up on that one, there might be an episode or two we're behind on, but the good doctor is a good one, um, Uh, there's a bunch, but I don't get to watch many of them, but those are probably the top picks for binge watching. Alright, um, what item do you never leave in the house without number 14? That would be my keys to my vehicle and my wallet and my phone. Those three things I always have in a pile. And those three things is what I always take with me when I leave. I think that's probably going to be like everybody's <laughs> answer to that one. Number 15. Are you an evening person or a morning person? I'm probably going to say an evening person.
because I don't like getting up unless I have to go to work. And I'm usually up late doing stuff because it's like the only time I can do anything when all the kids are in bed. So probably an evening person, more mostly. But yeah, I like to sleep in when I can. But today I got hit by a book and got woke up. Alright. What is your favorite movie genre? Number 16. Uh, just like my shows I watch, probably an action or a comedy. Those are the ones I like to watch. Mostly action movies. But uh, when I'm at my mom's, I get hooked on the Hallmark channel and watch all them Sappy Lowe's sub movies because that's all she ever watches. <laughs> Love you, Mom. Alright. Uh, what is good in your life right now? What is good life right now? Um, being healthy and alive and with my family. That's what's going good in my life right now. Um, 18. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I had to look these up because I didn't know what they were. But I think I'm an introvert more. More of a loner. Doing things myself. But I do socialize and extrovert every once in a while. But I'm more an introvert. Be alone. Small groups. I'm not really the center of attention, so definitely an introvert. Nineteen, what is your biggest accomplishment? Well, I've accomplished a lot, I think. Um, getting my associate's degree was a big accomplishment. Being in the military, serving for my country was a big accomplishment. Um, getting married. And having three lovely kids. Those are all my accomplishments. Um, supporting my family for this many years on, on one income is a big accomplishment. Uh, owning my own business, my meat market that I've had for um, 13, 14 years now. That's an accomplishment. Um, I have a lot of accomplishments, I don't, I can't pinpoint one major accomplishment that, they're all equal, I guess. <laughs> so that's my 19 questions, I think I hit them all. Um, <clears throat> I have to tag some people, I said to tag three, but I think I'm going to tag a few more because I, I had to look up people to see if they've done a video on this already so uh, hopefully they haven't um, if they have then let me know and I'll find somebody else but these are some people that I watch um, haven't really uh, talked to them much but except for maybe one uh, but I, I've watched their YouTube videos and channel uh, often and I, I like what they do so I want to shout out to them to do this 19 questions about me video and get to know them more so my first one is star from slipping hippos check her channel out right here and I will and uh, yeah I want to shout out to you star to do uh, 19 questions about me video so I look forward to seeing that and then the next person I want to shout out to is Jess Elizabeth from Crazy Lamp Lady her channel is right here go check her out uh, she puts out a lot of videos on thrifting and I also while looking up her videos she also has two other channels, which I didn't know about, so I subscribed to them too. So check her out and find those other channels of hers as well. And also, uh, Sue on her channel, if you see this as well, 
I want to shout out to you as well and have you do the questions with her, with uh, Jocelyn, and do the 19 questions together. I think that would be funny to see. Uh, next one is uh, Pam and Ryan from Thirst Mine. And they got a good channel and uh, they do that channel together. And uh, they, Pam has her channel too as well. And I'll link the Thirst Mine channel right here. And you guys can go check them out, subscribe to them. Uh, they do good do good videos on uh, thrifting at garage sales and and uh, other stuff too, which I enjoy watching. So I'm going to shout out to them. And then uh, another person is Kimberly from Borderline Hoarder, Hoarderish, and her channel is right here. Check her out. Kimmy, if you are watching, I'd like you to do this 19 questions if you haven't done it already. So I've watched a lot of live shows with Kim, Kimberly, and uh, I enjoy watching her as well. And everybody that tunes into her. And then the last person is a new guy I started watching. His name is Steve from Pick and Roll. And he's got some a lot of good videos on thrifting and information that's really good. So check out his channel right here. And uh, check them all out. Subscribe to all them people. And I hope you enjoyed this video of my 19 questions about me. Hopefully I didn't bore you that much, but it's me, that's what I got. Thank you Cliff for uh, tagging me in this video, in your video. Uh, everybody go watch Cliff's channel and see his 19 questions. And then, and also subscribe to all the people that I tagged and wait for their questions to come out to learn more about them. Thank you, everybody, and have a great day. Bye.